In this lesson, we'll create a splash screen animation. Okay, so here is the final version of the project called Splash Screen In. So when I double click and open the workbook, our splash screen animation will appear immediately. So let me double click and you can see that our animation will start to play. And then we are presented with an enter button clicking which it will take us to the real project. So this project is about team budget FY 2016. And there is nothing we got in this budget report because we are not preparing any budget report. But we are interested in creating a splash screen animation for our team budget report. Okay, so let's get started. So go to your exercise folder and open the file called splash screen start. Okay, so before we get to the coding, let's review assets in this project. So go to selection panel and here we can see we got just few shapes that you know currently present in our project in worksheet number one and now here you can see we have a background going on here behind the green black background and then we got two text called team budget here you can see and then fy16 that is uh, another text box and then we have a circle border a circle with no fill and just with the border a black border and then we have an enter button here clicking which it will take us to our real project and then we have a chart going on here but let me delete this chart because we'll be creating a chart now so the animation that we just saw that that is a chart animation and that's a donut chart animation so first we'll get started with our donut chart animation so if you remember we did a donut chart animation in our progressive circle lesson so the idea remains the same how we achieve the animation but the trick to it would be different in this uh, animation. Okay, so let's get started creating our donut chart. So if you scroll on to the right, on to the right here you can see in uh, column number AV and AW we have a data set here that is from Jan to December we got 12 months and we just gave, gave uh, 50 values to each uh, month. So we'll be creating a, a donut chart with this data set. So highlight the data set here and go to the insert tab and come on to here, insert pie or donut chart area and click on this. And here you need to find out the donut area and click on this donut. So click and we are provided with a donut chart. So when you go to the design tab, we are provided with a lot of variations to the same chart. So you can see here the variation here, another variation. But we are looking for a chart with a data level. So come over here and maybe this one, no. And here we got a, a chart with the data levels. So maybe we'll take this chart. So click on this and now you can see our donor chart has got data level levels. So here you can see our donut chart has now got the labels added to it. Okay, so now let's get rid of the chart. So click on the chart title and delete it and also the legends. So delete it. And now you can see that our donut chart has become a little bigger. And also we can click right click on the chart format chart area. So say format chart area and now you can see go to the bucket icon and click on no fill and say no line and also inside here click the inside border and let's say no fill and say no line here okay so now you can see that our chart is now uh, now you can see that our chart is transparent now what we want to do is we want to add a shape to our data levels so click on our any data levels so come over here and click and make sure all the data levels are highlighted and what we want to do now is add a shape to our data levels and come over here to the format tab on the toolbar and here you can find an icon called change shape so click on this and let's find a shape called isocellus triangle so click on this and it will provide us with the triangle and now let's change the color of uh, the default white to maybe we'll get this yellow and, and then let's get rid of the line the border line so say no line and now what we want to do is make these shapes behind you can see our 12 uh, shapes of the donut we want to make these guys invisible so 
So come to the bucket icon and make sure all the shapes are highlighted and say no fill and say no line. Now you can see that our donut chart has become transparent, but we still got this line. So click it once again and go to the bucket icon and make sure the no line is checked. So say check and it should go away now. Okay, so now we got our clean donut chart with just the data levels and and here the triangle shape is added to the data level. Now we also want to get rid of this uh, percentage. We just want to, you know, uh, get the uh, shape with the month name. So click on the data level shape and go to the fourth icon in the data format data levels and click on this and let's click on the check the category name. So click and you can see now our months are added to our shape but our shape also has become bigger and let's get rid of the percentage now so uncheck it and now you can see that our uh, shape sh shapes are once again clear now you can see that our percentage are gone away from our data level shapes okay now we want to place this chart onto our main project area so click and drag it onto the left so here you can see that we already have a circle at in the center of the project. So let's uh, get this guy into that location. So get this some more. You can also copy and paste, but I will just push it onto the left. Now I'll just place it here at the center of our project. So I'll close this and close this as well. Now let's scale our chart to match the size of our circle border here. You can see the circle border. Now let's, uh, while holding the uh, shift key on your keyboard, and make sure your cursor is at the right bottom corner. So click and drag to scale it uniformly. Okay, now we'll just place it at the center. Maybe we can make it a little more bigger. So I'll just drag a little more. And now let's place this chart on top of our line. So let me do it once again. And very, you need to be very, you know, precisely placing it. So let me place it from the left on the top, maybe uh, from the bottom, maybe. Now, yeah, it is sitting right uh, on top of our circle. Maybe our chart is a little big now. So let's shrink it a little and now I will just uh, place it on our circle. Okay, now that our uh, the chart is, you know, sitting on top of our circle, we are ready to start animating our chart. So this is going to be the same way how we achieved a donut chart animation in our progressive circle. So let's apply the same thing. What we want to do is we want to make uh, these values zero over a period of time. Okay, so when we make these guys uh, values zero over a period of time, we will achieve our effect, animation effect. So we'll achieve this through our uh, for loop function.